Well, hello and welcome. You know what? It, it, it's been an amazing time. Um, the last weekend, obviously, if you haven't heard, I lost my job. So over the last few days, I've been just kind of exploring and hanging out with a bunch of people online in uh, VRC or VR chat at this point. I tried to play some Five, Out Five Nights at Freddy's, but that didn't work. So today, we're what are we going to talk about today? Uh, how about some motivation? How about some motivation? What is going to keep me getting up, staying up super late? Don't do that. It's bad for you, <laughs> especially when you have to adult. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I have to adult and that's, that's part of it. So obviously you have to not ignore your responsibilities when you have them in life. Um, money, kids, your family, everything like that. You got to take care of them because that's part of it. But I do get some downtime and in that downtime that's when I make videos or I stream I do a lot of things like that and last night I gotta say our last couple nights I have jumped into a couple live streams with other streamers and they've just gone through a whole plethora of emotions and I have to say it's absolutely amazing to see what what their communities do for them we were able to rally one streamer up to a, up to a hype train and he got so emotional it was amazing to see and it's not something that i generally have done i i, I that that's the difference of streaming in vr and streaming in general in this sense when you have an absolute crazy community and group that you can sit there and talk to and and just say hey listen you're definitely worth it. You're definitely worth hopping in there because it gives you the warm fuzzies. It really does. When I sit there and I see everyone supporting everyone else, it's absolutely amazing. That's that's part of the appeal with all of this. Why I've gone this way. You know, I'm in this world. I have no clue what's going on in this world. I, I it, It's something that I generally do now. I explore a lot of different worlds and this is one of the newer ones. I, I'll, I'll, I'll link in editing whatever this world is. So let, let, let's maybe get a bird's eye view of what's going on in this world. Because you know what? The one thing that I really do like about this model is that I can sit there, flap our wings, and we can get a nice view of what we see in the world. So let's take a look. What do we have here for a world today? It's absolutely, it's a whole kingdom, a whole kingdom in front of us. Right? These are not things that you get to see in normal life. Just being able to sit there and, and fly around, check out amazing worlds, it's something else. And you know, this type of thing keeps me going. It keeps me just exploring everything. And that's part of what's going on. You know, a lot of the artwork I have seen, the artwork that I've been able to draw, I'm like, it, it's a totally different sense of well-being at this point. I have something that I can sit there and say, listen, I made that. We're making videos. We're doing things here on YouTube. We're doing things everywhere. And it's totally worth it. I might be tired as balls some days. I might not be able to get up and, and just do that. But I still get up. I still drink my coffee and get up. By the way, if you haven't seen the new emotes that are that I have coming, they're in the previous video we I showed a bunch of them off. There's more coming still. And I can't wait until we see this model in those tones. It's going to be pretty crazy. When it comes to just exploring worlds and doing things in them, it's it's something else. And it's even more fun when you have a whole group of friends that you can do this with. Uh, you, and the other thing too, now that I've got the tracking system and system working, you get to do a lot more things. You get to do a lot more fun things, especially when you can turn around, just turn sideways and be able to sit there, right? These are, these are not things that you can do normally. This used to take a green screen to be able to do things like this, a whole tracking system, a green screen, all these massive programs. Now you just get to do it normally, right? And now, you know, I, know <laughs> I still sit here and I look at, at myself and I laugh. 
obviously I have to do a lot of things in my own space. Once I get the space, it's going to be even more fluid. Maybe get a couple more base stations in the process. I'm probably gonna have to wait until I go back to work for something like that. Um, you know, Christmas is only a couple months away. I got, I got family birthdays to deal with, all those fun things. Uh, so right now, I, I, I got to sit back and just kind of finally explore all of these things. You know, I worked six days a week, 60 hours plus a week. And it just, it was so draining on top of trying to make content and maintain a channel. Obviously things kind of got to the wayside a little bit. I didn't get to do daily uploads like I like to. I didn't get to make the TikToks, the shorts. Those are fun things that I do like to do, and I hope that I can continue doing them in in the near future. Um, finding the time is going to be an interesting thing. I, you know, I got a lot of work that I got to do around the home too. But ultimately, ultimately, it's been a amazing journey after all. And if you haven't gone and just looked on Twitch at how many different streamers, how many different people, every single one of them is different. And every single one of them has a different attitude, a di not even a different attitude. It's all the same sort of happy attitude. And everyone just wants to sit there and grow and do something more. And, you know, th one of the things that they do mention with YouTube and Twitch, in order to grow, you got to grow together and that's been one of the bigger things here that i've seen is just being able to do things together with the whole group of people these there's community nights you know i i have to sit there and i have to start thinking about this if if we're going to get a lot more friends maybe i can start doing a community night um once a month or something or something because i think you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. I'll make I'll make y'all a promise. Whichever comes first. If we hit 4,000 subscribers on YouTube or let's say 500 followers on Twitch, I will host a community night. I think that's that's fair. I think that's fair. I think those numbers are achievable. You know, it, it might be a long time. It took me just over a year to hit an extra 1,000 on YouTube. And if this keeps going the way it's going, it's going to snowball. And that snowball, that's what the, what happens with YouTube. It starts to snowball and starts to work on its own. Because I have seen this. I have seen this and maybe we we get to grow there. 3,000 people following me on, on YouTube. And, you know, not everyone has just dropped the channel at the... At, uh, no. <clears throat> because I've changed up what I do a little bit. Because I sit there and I go into an avatar state and talk about things in the world. It's, I'm, I'm just dumbfounded by all of it. I'm honestly, why didn't I do this earlier? Because if I did this like four years ago, well, first off, I didn't have VR four years ago. This thankfully was, I am extremely thankful to this community for, for everything they have done around here. Uh, you know, we also have the uh, 25 hour live stream that's going to be coming up uh, November 2nd. I am going to be doing a 25 hour live stream. I don't know if there's going to be VR involved in that. I still have to talk to the organizers and see if I can maybe set up a space. Um, there should be space for it, but I don't know. I don't know. It's something that I really need to do. But honestly, the motivation behind this, me, when I hop into VR, oh, and when we start to break with our uh, trackers, you know, the, this is why I have to move rooms. I have a little, I have too many things that are starting to block the view for the trackers. But the motivation of all of this, honestly, it, it's absolutely imperative how many people that I have started following, how many people that I see out there, how many people just want to create. And that's where I'm at right now, watching everyone out there in this community that I have found, seeing them all, every single person puts on a headset, hop into VR chat, and they just sit there in front of a camera. Not many of them are actually sitting there like I am right now and making videos for YouTube saying, you're worth it, get up, start making content. That's what it's going to come down to. You know, the, these are things that we have said for a long time on YouTube, with, even within commentary, just put it online and people will find you. And that's where things have really started to take off. I am more than happy with this. I... 
Am I happy that I'm I, I'm kind of delaying getting videos up there every day right now? Uh, you know what? There's some days I wish I wish things did work out a lot better. Overall, what am I doing? This is the problem. You never know what you're doing in life. Hold on. I'm fixing the camera, so it's not going to do that. There we go. There, there's so many things that I just see in, in and around this community. Uh, and I, I'm more than happy to sit there and, and take it all in. And for those that are watching and you're new to the channel, it, the, this has been an adventure. And it, we can go back, you can now go back through my catalog of videos over the last couple months and sit there and see the documentary that would be Cinder Shadow at this point, going, he's really fallen deep and this is what it's like when you first you know, from when you first are introduced into the into the fandom to where you are now where you're starting to kind of find a space and kind of find the people that you want to hang out with find new friends and it's absolutely amazing i i, I mean if you haven't watched a, a bunch of these community nights a bunch of streamers that get together and do all sorts of things in in vr it's it's not something for everyone it definitely not for everyone uh it, it is taxing on your eyes it is taxing on your your system like i stand now and move around the the exercise that i'm getting alone i'm hoping that we can incorporate some beat saber soon because i need to get that all worked out i know when we do i dove into vr i didn't take it step at a time i've slowed it down a little bit and trying to do things obviously it seems when I try and do these things, I have to really test them before I just hop into it, hoping it works like any regular video game, because it's not, it's not simple in a lot of ways. It really is not simple. But the one thing that is simple is I can say, sit here and tell you, it's all worth it in the long run. All you have to do is start doing it. When you start doing this and making it part of your routine, make it, making it part of who you are when you, when you get into social media and just everything like that, it becomes a lot easier day after day. It becomes so much easier to make content, so much easier to talk and so much easier to be motivated. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in a shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.